Okay, we come to the last question, question 1E. And question 1E reads, study all the sources. Cuban Missile Crisis came about because the Americans were threatening Cuba. How far do the sources support this view? Use the sources and your knowledge to explain your answer. Remember, Cuban Missile came about. It's talking about the origins of the Cuban Missile Crisis. And as you have seen, right, some sources talk about the after the Cuban Missile Crisis. So you want to really consider whether you want to use those sources. The second part I want to say before we look at the question in further detail is this. Please do not use background information as one of the sources. Look, background information is not one of the sources. Background information is background. The question says study all the sources referring to A, B, C, D, and E. So please do not use the background information. It's not valid. And the key word here is Americans threatening Cuba that started the crisis. Okay, so I think I've explained A, B, C, D, and E. Now, F is a very interesting source by a leading Soviet politician. He says that when the Americans were defeated at the Bay of Pigs, we congratulated ourselves, but we knew they would continue harassing Cuba because they could not tolerate the regime. They had a plan to strangle the economy to bring Castro's regime and military intervention. Such an action would be a terrible blow to communism. We decided to give Cuba weapons for free and also donated equipment for 100,000 men. We sent troops and strategic missiles only to protect the island. It was a plan for containment so that Americans could not cause trouble in Cuba. So, right. So it's very interesting. So here is saying that America has a history of bullying Cuba, and after the Bay of Pigs invasion, they used non military means. They only stopped bullying when USSR gave troops and missiles to protect the island. So US only respects Cuban independence when it's armed. So some information here can definitely be used to answer the synthesis question, right? So I've tabled. I've tabled the uh, answers right into this. Okay, the yes would be source B, right? B mentions that Castro is a Soviet spy. Alright, so you Alright, so America needs to get rid of Castro. Okay, but remember the explanation for B has to be uh detailed, right? Okay, uh saying that you know uh it's a threat to America, especially close to their borders. So they have to get rid of trust. So in the end, America threatened Cuba. Okay, you can then see US did not understand how Castro perceived his vulnerability. They feel Cuba is well protected. This was the one the ambassador that misunderstood, uh, misunderstood, quote and unquote, right? Right, the, the ambassador who misunderstood. F, okay, US has always been threatening Cuba. Only when you gave Cuba, you can missile the threat stop. Now, you cannot use source A. Because A is talking about the Bay of Pigs and not the Cuban Missile Crisis, you cannot use E, the source we just meant, um, because this is after the Cuban Missile Crisis. C and D is good to show that it was Soviet, D is Soviet was aiding Cuban Missile. C, you can also say that Soviet and Cuba were the ones who are destabilizing Cuba and other Latin American countries. Okay, so this, alright, so C can be used to both answer yes and no, you can only use one of it. All right, try not to use A and E. Okay, some answers here. This is a student using source A. All right, okay. Cuban Missile Crisis came about due to America threatening Cuba, supported by A. A says that support comes from those who have something to gain. U.S. was under the impression Cuba was turning communist, active resistance, da, da, da. So that America, U.S. is looking to resistance to try to prevent Cuba from turning communist. All right, this way to threaten Cuba is by trying to forcefully remove Castro from power through the Bay of Pigs. This led to Castro feeling threatened and USA pressing missiles in Cuba a year later. Okay, so it, this source is about the Bay of Pigs, right? It is not considered uh, valid, right, to, to explain why um, the missiles were placed in Cuba. All right, all right. All this information, for example, the Bay of Pigs invasion, Operation Mongoose, all right, is is um is not quite related to to this information earlier that you have mentioned all right now what i mean is that all right it uh the question is about the cuban missile crisis came about because americans were threatening uh cuba all right so and this source is for a particular period is during the bay of pigs uh, invasion and it's an intelligence report Right, telling us um, what the defenses are like and the level of support. It doesn't quite tell you, right, the the threat that America is doing. This is implied. You are using contextual knowledge here, right? The source itself doesn't lend itself to saying this. 
Okay, I hope that's clear. All right. But if you have chosen source F, it'd be easier to write. If you have chosen uh, source D to say no. So one yes and one no will get you five marks, right? Okay, two yes, one no will get you six marks. All right. Yeah. So yeah, take a look at, uh, remember, you have to link it to American Strengthening Cuba. That's really very important for this synthesis question. Okay, this question is worth uh, eight marks. So it's good to spend some time. So we are looking for maybe four paragraphs or three paragraphs with a conclusion. You should be able to get full marks. Okay, we come to the end for this uh, debrief. I hope it has been useful. Let's take a look at your work again and highlight the areas for improvement. If there's any question, you can ask me in class. Okay, with that, thank you.